Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment of Health Professional Radio. We're going to be speaking with returning guest, Dr. Craig Eagle, joining us here as Chief Medical Officer at Garden Health to talk about clinical trial results on colonoscopy effectiveness and why blood-based tests can offer more accessible, effective, and convenient screening options. Welcome back, Craig. How have you been? Uh, Not too bad, Neil. Thanks. Well, I'm glad that you uh, got the opportunity to return. For those who are not familiar with you as a contributor, uh, tell us a bit about yourself and talk briefly about being Chief Medical Officer at Garden Health. Yeah, so my name's uh, Craig Eagle. I'm a hematologist, oncologist by training and uh, MD, and uh, I've been with Garden for a couple of years now. And as the Chief Medical Officer, I get to work with a great group in Garden across uh, our entire portfolio, which covers screening, which is what we're talking about today right through to oncology, both in diagnostic and monitoring at the genetic level uh, to help predict and uh, define treatments for patients on a personalized nature and precision nature. Well, first of all, let's talk about the importance of colonoscopy. Yeah, so, um, and as uh, you may know, colorectal cancer, which is what we're really talking about with colonoscopy, is looking for colorectal cancer. You know, it's one, it's a very common type of cancer, third most common type, in fact, and the second leading cause of death from cancer worldwide, unfortunately. And there's a lot of potential here to save lives through screening, through the colonoscopy and screening populations uh, around this area. So it's a really important topic that we're talking about today. It has there been a, a lag in people getting their colonoscopies? I know that the pandemic caused a huge, well, a blip, an understatement, of course, in, in our medical system with, with all types of screening. But was colonoscopy at the top of that list or at least high up on it? Uh, you're exactly right, Neil. You know, screening during COVID was very impactful. It reduced the amount of screening for all types of cancer, no more so than in colorectal cancer with the colonoscopy approach. Um, and in fact, the importance of colonoscopy and the screening impact it can have was recently uh, demonstrated in a study that was published called the Nordic study. And that showed that when you have a colonoscopy in a screening manner, you can reduce death from colon cancer by 50% and actually can pick up even early cancer or precancerous lesions called polyps and can reduce the frequency of colon cancer by 30%, which ultimately, of course, leads to reduced treatment of cancer, surgery, chemotherapies, and treatment side effects. So this was a really useful study and confirms that colonoscopy, when it's done, is a very useful screening tool. But the study also showed exactly what you highlighted and we described with the COVID situation. The problem is compliance. Mm -hmm. And in this particular study, out of all the people who offered colonoscopy, only 42% of patients actually went and did one. So despite this benefit, the 50% reduction in death, only 42% of patients took advantage of that, leaving a significant number in the same state that we talked about with COVID not being screened and therefore developing colon cancer. Mm. So I guess they were identified a much later stage of their cancer. Well, that's correct. So as you're screening people, you're screening people and capturing the cancer before it's spread or become life-threatening. So the treatment becomes more definitively curable and uh, less complicated with uh, follow-on chemotherapy, immunotherapies and other uh, pieces. And basically what we really learned from this Nordic study is that increasing screening rates, the key is to actually get people screened. And this is emphasized in the US. We know one in three people in the US are not being screened even today and following the guidelines. And so again, this Nordic study really demonstrated The key, get screening. If compliance is an issue with colonoscopy screening, even as as effective a tool as it is, uh, what's the alternative? And is it going to be an alternative where compliance is much uh, easier? Yeah, it's a great question. And, you know, we believe at Garden here and sort of our focus is to really solve that ability to get screening in people that are reluctant. So one of the areas that we look at are the factors that can prevent people from following through with colonoscopy or even other screening tests for that matter. And often uh, these are stool-based tests, for example. And there's a lot of hesitation in doing these tests because of the unpleasantness of it, the time consuming, and they're difficult to complete sometimes in specialist colonoscopy clinics that the underserved communities in particular can't access. 
So Garden, what we're focusing on is introducing a, a new method for screening a blood test. Uh, and so that can overcome some of these barriers of uh, specialised procedures and difficult to complete uh, unpleasant tasks. And that way, hopefully, it will create a chance to increase screening and come back to that theme that getting your screening done is what matters and having a blood test to do that becomes easily available. And we actually have some proof that we're already providing that test. And in the first 1,000 patients who we provided the blood test to, um, we've had a 90% compliance rate compared to, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a compliance rate in the US for colonoscopy of one out of three. So it's looking very promising. Promising compliance, but how effective is it? Is it as, is it as good a tool as a colonoscopy? So at this stage, the, the uh, tool is uh, looking at screening to pick up those that need to ultimately go on and have a colonoscopy. Okay. And it's certainly comparable to a colonoscopy uh, with early data, and we're continuing to build out the uh, comparison between colonoscopy and the blood test. But remember, the blood test is about getting people to have that initial screen mm. to enable them to see if they're at risk of colonoscopy, uh, colon cancer. It's a little bit of, you know, prevention's worth a pound of cure, as the saying goes, and, you know, no more so in colon cancer. By getting it early and getting it treated early, the treatment is simpler, more effective, and you can't do that if you're waiting to develop symptoms or feeling of the cancer. It's often too late. So doing this screening process, whether it be colonoscopy, stool-based or blood-based, the most important thing is get the screening done because this is a completely treatable and preventive cancer that saves lives if it's done early. Craig, give us a website where we can learn more about Garden. The website is gardenhealth.com, uh, and people are more than welcome to click on that to learn more about Garden and about our blood screening uh, product. Craig, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us uh, here on Health Professional Radio. Thanks, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with returning guest, Dr. Craig Eagle. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Tunes, listen in, download at Anchor Spotify, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.